Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, welcome first to SVU English TV. We are here live from South Valley University. You can see behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is the third episode of my program, Al Quran and Science. Last episode, we talked about you. What do we mean by you? We talked about the embryonic development of the human being. We talked about every baby, girl, woman, child, and every grown up. This episode, first, I would like you to check your baby in the home right now, to check the baby sitting in front of you, and thank Allah. Thank Allah for He is there, for his, He is here, sitting in front of you. Thank Allah for this smile on His face. Thank Allah for He can move, He can eat, He can speak, He can shout, He can even break anything in the home. Thank Allah for even He can smile in your face right now. Thank Allah for you didn't have to pay thousands of dollars, for you didn't have to pay millions of pounds to see the smile on His face. Thank Allah and always say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, say thanks Allah. Today, we are moving to talk about a new important topic. Today, we are moving to talk about how to benefit from these small things. There are a lot of things around us. There are a lot of things there, here, and even there. There are a lot of things up and down. There are a lot of things right and left. We don't give care to these things. Why don't we give care? Because it's combined together. But if we talk it as separated, every part of it, every inch of it, will be important. Everything, every detail, will have its importance. Everything we will tell you about. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about a new important topic. Today, we are talking about every one of us. Guys, check yourself. Check, and I mean check yourself. This hand, this left hand, this leg, this left leg, this nose, this eye, this hair, this ears, and even this smile on my face, this teeth, I couldn't break. I, I don't know what to say, but check yourself. If one hand is there, the other hand does not exist. What would you do? What would you say? What can you do with one hand? You can bring a bag, but you can't bring two bags. Why? Because this, this right bag, you will hand it with your right hand. But what about the other? What about the other? The other does not exist. You only have the right. Imagine you have the two. But you lost one finger. You lost one finger. The small things we are talking about now is the different organs you have in your body. This hand, this hand, this leg, this leg, this heart, these lungs, and every part of your body. Imagine you lost one of them. What would you do? The smallest part we are talking about is in your, your right hand even. You have one, two, three, four, five fingers. You lost one. The other four are useless. You lost another one. What will you do with these three? You lost this one. What will you do with these two? You lost one. You only have one. What would you do with this one? Can you handle something like this? You can, of course. You can't. You will waste your time. You will waste your effort. You may be fall ill. You can't handle anything with one finger. The smallest thing we are talking about today is this hand. You have one. This hand is made of one, two, three, four, five fingers. One finger can make a hand, but five can make a hand. One, two, three, four, five is your hand. Is this shoulder. Is all this organ. You can move it, you can play with it, you can even wave, you can long live Egypt, you can do, you can push someone, you can push anything, you can fist, you can do anything 
whatever you like but one two three four five five steps one two three four five again what would you do if you lost one of them what would you do the smallest parts part number one two three four five lost a part lost the second the third the fourth the fifth where is your hand where is your hand if you lost those five check yourself one cell one imagine one cell like this one cell to 200 trillion cell sitting in front of you the human being me youth a student in the faculty of education second year south valley university 200 trillion cells and maybe more the photographer in front of you the camera in front of you this this watch this whole university behind me this air conditioner in front of me this flat roof this flat roof imagine every part every inch of it is important to form this shape to form this shape we see today every part of you as a human being is so important your heart how can you live without this heart how can you hear without this ear even this hair makes you look good you spend hours in front of a mirror to just make this hair you find you spend hours in in front of a barber to make this hair looks good you spend hours walking 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 and walking again walking again walking and walking and walking and walking what if you don't have these legs can you walk imagine you don't have this leg can you walk of course I can even walk for two miles I can even keep my balance actually I'm falling I will fall but imagine this can you do it also of course you can do it one two three four fives are the same in your leg one two three four fives how can your leg be formed without these fives how can your leg work properly how can your leg do the mission that's made for it how can your leg walk like this sure of all maybe kick someone how can you do it without a finger from your leg every part of it every part from here every part from here and every part of course from here up down right left down there in the front of you is so important to keep your life it's so important to keep every organ to keep every part of this organ to work prob properly this watch I am showing it in front of you this watch what it's made of it's made of this black thing this black rubber this steel thing and time in it what if this watch lost this black rubber what if I can see this blue mirror what if I can know the time what is the use of this watch if I can't know the time what is the use of this watch if there is no this black rubber if there is no black rubber actually I can have weird again if we don't have it maybe I will miss something this is considered as something not essential in your, in your life you can get out without a watch but you can't get out without clothes you can't get out without an ear without a nose without the smile on your face guys we are talking here about every important part of your organ if we talk the nose an example imagine guys the nose I am talking I'm talking today about the nose not as an organ of smelling but as an organ of feeling as an organ of feeling how can how can you feel without this nose you may say this nose is made for smelling 
is created for smelling. No, no, no. No, it's not just only made for smelling. Guys, it's made to smell the responsibility from your father, to smell the kindness of your mother, to smell the fear of your enemy, to smell the heat we are sitting in. Look at the sky, guys. Look at the sun. The heat is above us. I can smell it. I can feel it. But can you smell it? Even my colleague is wanting a waiver on her head. But I'm here standing in the sun. She can smell it, but I can smell it. She can do it. Because she is not here with me on this flat roof. She is sitting under the air condition. I'm here fighting the sun. I'm here struggling with this. Can you see it? I'm here struggling with this to introduce this episode. Guys, today we are talking about an important thing. How to benefit from these small things. These small things, imagine. Even if we have a lot of things here. This planet behind us. What if we took a paper from a plant? Imagine you may walk every day. You may walk like this. You may walk. And just do like this on a paper of a plant. You didn't take care. You didn't give any care. What is a paper, by the way? What is a paper, by the way? A paper of a plant can make anything. But let me make it clear for you. A paper of a plant is what the whole plant is about. The tree in front of us. The tree is here. The tree is in South Valley University. Take any paper. This paper is alive. It represents alive. It takes the sun to make food. It takes the sun to make the chlorophyll. To give it the green color. The green color that differs it from anything else here. It takes CO2, the carbon dioxide, and give us oxygen. Give us oxygen to live. We are, the human being, needs this oxygen to live. We can't live in this planet without oxygen. So why, why do we give care and work just doing like this? You destroy a life. You destroy a life under your legs. When you do it, you simply destroy the life. You destroy the meaning of our life. You destroy the oxygen. O2. Destroy it and doesn't give any care. You may say, what? You may say, what is the O2? <laughs> what is the O2? Actually, it makes me laugh. I ask it like this. I ask, I ask it, I ask it like this. I didn't mean it. I meant, what is this favor? What is this plan? I didn't mean to ask what is O2 because O2 is so important for us today. What is this plan? What is this favor? This favor represents life. This favor represents life. Today, we have a lot to discuss. Today, we need more and more to clarify. We need, of, we need a lot of things. Imagine the trees behind me. This man walking there, we took him as an example. He's made, as we said, a heart, lungs, head, brain. Brain, the leader and the thinker. The leader and thinker that makes you move in this life. 200 trillion cells makes you move. You may ask, what is the relation? Oh man, stop, 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 stop. What is the relation between our Quran and science and what you say now? You, every time you come, every time you come here and say a lot of things in the beginning. What is the relation? We want to know the relation between what you say and our Quran and science. 14 centuries ago, ladies and gentlemen, we are the Egyptians, 7,000 years of civilization and culture, 14 centuries ago, and our Quran is in our hands. Our enemy doesn't know the value of this book. 
Our Quran is the only book matched with modern science. Our Quran, and I will say it again, is the only book matched with modern science. You suspect, you say that our Quran is useless, is valueless. Why do you suspect? We will not get angry on each other. But let's make it clear. Let's think for just one minute. In the first episode, we said that Professor Maurice Bukai, once doing a surgery on Farrow's body, discovers a great secret, discovered a mystery for all human beings, discovered that Pharaoh is the first ancient Egyptian, a drone in the sea. They said that he, he was killed. They didn't know how did he die. But what if they read one page from Al-Quran? They would discover, they would know, they would discover that Al-Quran mentioned this miracle 14 centuries ago, but they don't read Al-Quran. They believe in other books, they believe in modern science, they believe in a lot of things, but Al-Quran? No, 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 no. Why? Why should I believe in Al-Quran? I am not even a Muslim. Why should I believe in Al-Quran? He said like this, why should I believe? Why should I believe you? Why should I read Al-Quran? Guy, read Al-Quran because 14 centuries ago we were told a lot of things. Heaven is happening and will happen. We will always believe in Al-Quran. We will always believe in Allah. There is no God but Allah. And I say it, Muhammad is the apostle of Allah. There is no God but Allah and Muhammad the apostle of Allah. Say it clear after me. Say it clear after me for all those who are watching me. Say it clear. There is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is the apostle of Allah. They suspect, but we believe. They deny, but we prove. They disbelieve, but we prove once again that Al Quran is the only book matched with modern science. Al Quran is the only book matched with modern science. When we talked about Professor Maurice Bukai, he said that he discovered a mystery in the human life being, in the human being life. He discovered a lot of things. He kept it secret in his mind and his heart. He kept it secret from people. But once he declared it, I discovered a great secret. I discovered a mystery in the human life. Far or drowned in the sea. What? Pharaoh drowned in the sea, we know it from the beginning. He knew from one of the Muslims that Pharaoh drowned in the sea because Al Quran mentioned this miracle 14 centuries ago. Al Quran is a book of history, politics, science, wisdom, miracles. Read it and you will know. Read it and you will discover. Read it and you will be absolutely sure of what I am talking about today. Read it. Believe. believe in Allah and believe in our Quran. Believe in our Prophet Muhammad. You may say, blah, 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 blah. Guys, what are you saying? What is this man saying? Why should I see you? Why should I watch you? Why should I lose my time to watch you? I want a lot of people to know. I want a lot of people to believe. I want a lot of people to believe again in Allah and in our Apostle Muhammad, in our Prophet Muhammad. I want to say, I want to tell everybody of you, of course not Muslims, because Muslims believe. Muslims believe, but you, non-Muslims, why don't you believe? You may say, let's say it clear, let's say it clear. This window in front of us, what's made of? What is made of? You may say wood and glass combined together to make this window. But what if we separated it from each other? Will it form a window? Of course not. It will not form a window. This window is made of separated pieces of wood. One piece can make a window. One piece of wood can't make a window. One finger can't make a hand. Two fingers can make a hand. Three, four can make a hand, but five fingers. And the palm? 
can make a hand. Our Quran is the book that makes this sun in the bottom of your hand. This sun is in front of our eyes. Our Quran is the only book that makes the world comes to you. Make the world is an open book between your hands. Make the world comes under your legs. Make this land, this sky, this place, the whole world will come to you if you believe in our Quran. 14 centuries ago, guys, we have miracles. Heaven, heavens, and will happen. Will happen, but we know it. We know that it will happen. But modern science will not discover it right now. Modern science will discover it later. But when modern science discover it later, we will tell them that Al Quran mentioned this miracle. Al Quran mentioned it 14 centuries ago. Let's move to the relation between what we say today and Al Quran and science. The American movie Titanic. The American movie Titanic. We all watch it, Rose. We all know Rose. Who doesn't know Rose? Who doesn't know Rose? You know Rose, right? Well, this ship of Titanic, we all remember. Titanic will never sink. Titanic will never sink. Titanic will never sink. But at the end of the movie, what happened? Titanic sank. Titanic sank in the sea. Why? Titanic is, as we said, as this window is made of wood, metal, people there enjoying their life, having drink, doing what they want but after all this small piece of wood these small pieces of wood and me and metal what did they form they form a, this a huge titanic they form a, this huge titanic this floor every inch is important to form the shape you see right now these trees we see in front of us these buildings this man this girl moving out there. Every organ of them is so important to make it form properly. Every organ is important to form the shape we see in front of us. To form the shape we like to see. When Allah sent Noah to his people, when Allah sent our prophet Noah to his people, they disbelieve. 950 years Telling them to believe in Allah, believe in miracles, believe in Allah, believe and you will get in paradise, believe and this land will be yours, believe 950 years telling his people to believe, but they just believed, they didn't think for even one second, for even one second, they didn't think, they didn't think of what they want. They disbelieved. They couldn't match with what our Prophet Noah wanted to teach them. They couldn't learn the lesson. They couldn't do anything. Noah told Allah, Oh Allah, I did, I did my best. I can't. I, can't. I did my best. Allah told Noah, You did your best. They deserve what will happen to them. They deserve what they will face. Noah said, Oh Allah, my son is with them. I want him with me. This is my son. Noah told his son, Oh my son, come with us. Come with us and be a survivor. Come with us and enter the paradise. His son said, oh, Father, why should I believe? Father, why should I believe? I will be climbing a mountain. I will be on the top of a mountain. I will be on the top of a mountain that will prevent me from water. Allah said, O land, get out of your get out your water. O sky fall down your rains. They deserve what happened to them. No son said, Father I will climb on a mountain to prevent me from this water. It's not a water we drink. It's not the simple water we see in front of us. It's not the simple water that you can walk in it easily and drink, touch it with your hand and drink. 
wash your hair, wash your hands. It's not like this. It's a water from Allah. I have a mission to destroy these people. They deserve for what they did with our Prophet No. They deserve. Father, I will not come with you. Go. I will climb a mountain and it will prevent me from this water. I don't want you. I don't want your religion. I don't want Al Quran. I don't want anything. Just leave me. Oh, son. Nothing will prevent you from Allah. This water has a mission to destroy its people, to destroy them. No one will prevent you. Son, believe and join us. Believe and ride the ship. Allah told Noah to create a ship. Noah used a base piece, separated piece of wood to make this a huge ship. To make this a huge ship. This ship could save him could made him a survivor from this water. Imagine guys get out your water, all land get out your water. Oh sky fall down your rains. What will the land will be look like? What will the land is looking like now? Land gets out its water? Sky fall down its rains. Everything is underwater. Everything is under water. Nothing prevents you from the orders of Allah unless you obey Allah. Obey Allah and you will be a winner. Obey Allah and you will be a survivor. Obey Allah and walk the best to the paradise. Obey Allah and don't walk like this. But walk like this. Take the front line, not the back line. When Allah told Noah to make a ship, he made it. It was huge. It was awesome. It prevented him from the water by the orders of Allah. By the orders of Allah and Allah only. Guys, check any part of you. The ship of Noah saved him from this water. This finger can save you. These two fingers doesn't make a hand. These five fingers must make a hand. This five fingers makes a leg. This heart, this body can't work without this heart, without this brain, without this eyes, this nose, and even this smile. It all must be combined together to form the body in front of you. Well, actually, I got tired today. You see the sky? You see the sun? Look at the sun and dream. Dream to reach it one day. Dream to even reach the moon. Look at the sky at night and see the moon with your eyes. And dream to reach it. I do it myself. I am doing it myself. Every night. Every night looking to the moon, there is nothing impossible. There is nothing impossible. Just believe. Oh moon, you are very high. You are very shining. But I will reach you one day. I am telling it once again. Oh sky, you are very shining. You are very far. But one day, I will be like you. Never lose hope. For if you lost hope, you are not existent. Guys, today I am finished. I hope that you liked my episode this time. See you next week, inshallah. For more information, log in our Facebook, www.facebook.com slash SVU English TV. And on YouTube, SVU English TV. Ladies and gentlemen, I am finished today with you, Ahmad Rashad, South Valley University, Faculty of Education, second year. See you next time, inshallah. Bye-bye.